Welcome out to the shop. Today I'm going to work on, well, a project leading up to a project. Yeah, we'll go with that. First things first, I gotta get this thing out of here, and then I'm gonna take this winch over here, and I'm gonna adapt it to put it on the front of my trailer. So this is the winch that I usually run on the front of my Jeep. I mean, you can tell by kind of the beat up nature of it that um, I've used it there for a while. Eventually, someday, I am going to build a custom bumper to go in here. But for now, I plug that in the receiver and it has gotten me out of a lot of binds. But the reason that it is still on the receiver is because I use it for a lot more than just the Jeep. Well, I use it for my truck too. And I use it for my trailer and I use it for trees and sheds and a lot. So in the past, every time that I've used it on my trailer, I have just kind of chained it to this bar here, or I've hooked it on, or I've run a chain to something. And um, honestly, it works, but I need to do something different. So I need to make some type of an attachment um, that can clip onto here, hold onto these bars, and then I can winch um, a car up onto this trailer. So let's get started. We've got to get this thing hooked onto the truck, and then we'll get the Jeep out of there, and we will get going. may be wondering, why did he pull the trailer all the way into the shop? I don't respond well to August heat, and it fits, so why not? So, here we go. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to go out and dig in the scrap pile and see if I can find some, the right pieces and parts to make a receiver that can attach somehow to the front end of this trailer, and then... Um, we're going to attach it somehow to the front of this trailer. This is the same trailer that I made the spare tire mount for. If you look up in the corner, there should be a link for another video where I made this guy. Uh, it has been working very well. We've moved it around to several different spots. Um, I'm really pleased with it. I didn't end up making the jack mount for it yet, but we'll get there. It is a little bit loose, than, looser than I'd like. But hey, prototypes aren't perfect, right? that has too much play in it. That ought to do it right there. All 
All right, we dug around in the scrap bin. We found a couple of pieces that I think will work. Cut them into pieces that I think will be the right size. Let's check them out. So this was a piece I had laying around out front. I cut this piece off of it and that will slide over top of that receiver. I think I'm gonna mount it like that. And I like that because I can take it all out then. Um, so it got me thinking, maybe I should mount a receiver under here so that this guy can slide in and out and I can take it right on out. I'm not committed to this platform. I may end up putting a winch bracket or something else up there at a later time. Um, but for now, I'm just trying to get this just to set up real quick because I'm going to go get a Jeep tomorrow. And um, anyway, so I found in my scrap bin over here, I found this piece, which um, is another piece of receiver tubing. All right, so I can slide this guy over that. So I can weld him to there. And then this guy will slide into that receiver tube like that. And then that will slide into that. We'll see. That's a pretty good idea what I'm thinking. If for some reason this weld ever did fail, this guy would just slide, slide up and catch like a U on there. I don't have any worries about that. I got to drill this hole out to 5 eighths. I got to drill a hole in there that's 5 eighths. And then I can weld it up. Oh, I'm going to square off these edges on the saw first. got this guy drilled out now so that can slide on here I can uh, I got this guy all set up I'm gonna weld that to the bottom there like that and then uh, that guy will be able to slide in out and I did drill a hole in there um, for for be able to pin this plus I thought maybe I could use that as a storage for um, for a receiver up here while I position it and tack it into place. I tried using those clamps but the, uh, the angle of the eye beam wouldn't let them hold in place. tacked in place now. Uh, I think that will hold it. All I gotta do is weld that on. And then uh, it's pretty tight tolerances here. That's actually sitting right on the bottom there and this guy is gonna push right up against so that's gonna be a pretty solid pretty solid unit as far as directional pull that way. It's the side to side twists that might that might do us in down here. But I can always put a faceplate on that if I have an issue there. But I'm going to weld that up and be good to go. Well, there it is. It's quick. It's ugly. But I think it'll do with a trick. We'll find out tomorrow. So I have pretty good confidence that uh, it would have worked. <laughs> but uh, I forgot the controller. 
I got there, we tried a different controller, I tried jumper in it, and it wouldn't work, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't work, and as it turns out, there was a wire that was broken on my winch, and the, the release mechanism was jammed, so even when we did try to bypass it all and jumper it, it the, the winch was locked up, so I had to like hammer that loose, and then, anyway, <laughs> all that to say, I got a mount on my trailer now, now I just gotta get a working winch. Let's take a look at the Jeep that I hauled home. Um, this is a Jeep that I got a line on. I was going to use the parts for a Jeep for my daughter, but I ended up um, not getting the Jeep that my daughter was supposed to have, so i got to look for another one. But um, this guy right here um, is a uh, 2000 or 2001. It's probably one of the cleanest XJs that I have ever seen. Uh, well, not ever. Recently, in, in the last 10 years. Um, it was it was really clean when it was on the road. It got hit in the back pretty hard um, in 2017 or 18, something like that. Um, and it creased it all the way up. The body lines creased all the way up in here. And the doors are so it's literally tacoed uh, but we got some good parts in there we're gonna uh, probably part it out maybe what do you guys think let me know what you guys think about that should we part it out should i do a video on the part out i've done oh probably about a half a dozen or more maybe even more maybe 10 uh part outs of those things and they almost always go great um, I don't know yet what I'm going to do for my daughter. Um, she wants a Jeep. I'll probably end up getting her one like that, so maybe we'll build one. But whatever I do, I'll probably do at least some part of a video off of it. So hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for when we dig into that. Thanks for stopping out. We'll see you guys on the next one. That's two pieces now built for this trailer completely out of scrap. 